Hello, uh, my name is Chris Weibel, and this is Paul Kearney, and we are the guest co-editors for the special issue in Policy and Politics. Um, this, the title of the special issue is um, Drawing Practical Lessons from Policy Theories. And so, um, you know, motivating this uh, special issue is the idea that uh, as academics, we use a lot of theories to uh, understand the complexity that defines the policy process. And um, so the field is populated with all these theories and the audience for um, these theories typically are other academics. And so we end up talking to each other and, and, and clarifying our concepts and our hypotheses and, and, and talking about how to best collect our data. And, but then what happens is that sometimes, especially when we talk to students or uh, you know, people outside of academia, we, start to wonder like you know what's the use of these theories and um, is there some sort of practical value and and so part of this this challenge was to really kind of kind of um, kind of raise the question like you know what what are these theories good for and uh, and yes um, people in this field have uh, explored some of the practical value of theories but we don't think quite enough attention has been given to um, this question so the special issue is all about you know drawing those practical lessons from policy theories Paul? Okay, so let me tell you uh, a little bit of the context of the special issue, uh, because um, we had two aims, and it took a little while to work out how to express both of those aims. So one was to say that these theories have a usefulness for students and practitioners, so we, if we explain them clearly enough, they'll have value. Uh, we also had this aim of making a scholarly impact, you know, to essentially say that uh, we, we don't know how good the field is until we explain it simply to each other. Now, actually, if you look at the special issue, when you put those two things together in, in that order, it sometimes looks like we're saying that, that people really don't understand the field and we are the heroic authors who are going to make sense of it. So look out for that. So that's, that's particularly the case with the multiple streams one that I do. You know, I, I even say that the people aren't really using the right metaphor. Then we have... A nice list of these, including narrative policy framework. Now, that's a bit different because uh, you know the authors are, are sort of part of the foundational field there. Then we have uh, studies of cultural theory, policy learning, governing fragmented governments, uh, and that's institutional collective action, punctuated equilibrium theory, the institutional analysis and development framework, and the advocacy coalition framework. Now, obviously, it's hard to produce lessons from all of those theories in one package. And that's what we found. Actually trying to take lessons and combine them across theories was very difficult. So we're just at the starting point. And the second thing is, you know, these are very broad, often political system-wide theories, and they provide a way of thinking. They don't, the practical lessons are not about prescribing specific solutions. Thanks. Um, so, we hope you enjoy the special issue, and uh, you know, at the very least, uh, uh, you know, hopefully, it'll raise questions that uh, you know we're not asking uh, as much as we should, and hopefully, it'll uh, make us think differently and move the field forward in ways that uh, will be beneficial to both us, um, I guess, academics and and uh, practitioners and everyone in between. So, uh, thank you very much for giving us your time, and uh, definitely give us your feedback when you uh, after you read everything. Okay, thank, thank you. you.